Death. It's inevitable for everyone. Only its method varies. Natural causes, accidents, war, at the hands of another person, be it malicious or benign. And finally, as the edict of the government, capital punishment. Capital punishment is a topic that encompasses a number of subjective convictions about values such as justice, fairness, racism, and mercy. Pro or con, one cannot rely on a simple formula to help gauge their feelings about the death penalty. I respect the abolitionists. I do. I, I respect their zeal. I respect their commitment to and concern for human dignity. I number them among my friends, and we have much in common. Today, there are 3,700 people on death row. In my view, 3,000 don't belong there. In that, we agree. It's the other 700. I would execute them. They would spare them. But once we've taken care of, to the degree that we can, the question of factual innocence, then we need to face the real question of the death penalty. Not whether he did it, but whether he deserves to die for it. I'm a retributivist. I believe, I hold, I know that some people deserve to die and that society has the obligation to execute them. I'm opposed to the death penalty. I, I, my view is that um, uh, it's morally wrong, and so uh, that it's more morally wrong to kill under any circumstances other than self-defense or uh, if we're a nation at war. Outside of those circumstances, you know, certainly within the context of society uh, taking another person's life, either because society thinks that it's an appropriate penalty, they think it's, or because they think it's the proper form of retribution, um, or that it's somehow a way to hold criminals accountable, or that it somehow deters criminals, uh, I don't believe in that. And so, so I'm opposed to the death penalty. It would really be up to the district attorney to de um, make a, a motion uh, as to whether or not they're going to be moving for execution after a defendant was uh, found guilty of uh, first degree murder, whether or not they're going to then present, you know, during the sentencing phase, uh, whether or not they're going to be asking the jury, these are members of the public, to make a, a reasoned decision as to whether or not death or life imprisonment without eligibility of parole would be the appropriate punishment. And certainly there are a number of uh, instances uh, in the, uh, the recent past where you can look at, you know, a, a defendant who's been found guilty of first degree murder, whereas a, a district attorney, it's uh, likely if, you, if I were put in that position uh, by statute that I would have uh, presented that to a jury and ask a jury to determine whether or not execution was the appropriate punishment. And again, it's not a decision you come to very lightly. And this is obviously an awesome responsibility that is put upon prosecutors in states where there is um, a capital punishment.